Colosina standing over it has been so sensational this year. Hannah Wilkinson rising, held on to by Dumont, who may have had nightmares from last season, but it's not phased there. Murphy. Chidiak with her back to goal, but manages to keep it for the victory. Privatelli trying to get past Grosso, does well, does Privatelli. It's unable to forge a true opportunity in the strike now for Alana Murphy, can't hit the target. Hannah Wilkinson really struggling this campaign after coming back from injury. In terms of Wilkinson and especially how City is set up today, um, she's not going to want to be isolated, so she's going to need quick support around her. She's going to need to hold up the football and then make sure she's intelligent um, in her positioning central for this City side today. And it's one back. Chidiak striking birthday present for Alex Chidiak. Just creeps in despite Melissa Barbieri getting a hand to it. And happy birthday, blow out the candles, Alex Chidiak. And what a moment. And that's a fantastic strike by Chidiak. Um, she's anticipated the poor touch there by City. And in terms of Alex Chidiak on her left foot, nine times out of 10, that's going in. You reckon she woke up this morning saying, I don't need a dollar or a gift card to JB Hi-Fi. I don't need a Rebel Sport gift voucher. This is all I want. We'll see how Dario Vidicic in Melbourne City adjust at half-time. There's still time for them to get back in the game before the break. Garlic. Chinema. Does well to evade Madsen. Garlic now looking to deliver towards the back post. Rising is Grosso. And can't hit the target. And that's a great delivery by Garlic, who, who's probably looking for a fourth assist of the season. Uh, in terms of Grosso, uh, a little bit early with, with her run. Um, the timing could, um, has her in a position where she's almost backpedalling before she receives the ball, and she's just got to head down and, and head that on target. Really awkward position as well. As Jumont goes long. Polisina. Wilkinson, that's what we want to see from her. Garlic threading through for Torpy, cuts inside, laying it off for Wilkinson, and they level it. Just what we said before, the hold-up play, creating opportunities, and Hannah Wilkinson gets her first goal of the campaign. She got five against them last campaign, and she gets one today. And that's an excellent little bit of build-up play. As you can see, Daniela Garlic, the weight of the pass to Torpy. We're mentioning Caitlin Torpy's name again in the build-up. Fantastic little square pass. Great decision not to shoot there and bring in her teammates. And um, I've said it, I've been a bit harsh on Hannah Wilkinson maybe at the start of the game, but she's just scored a goal and she's just done exactly what she's here to do. As we edge towards half-time, and now the strike from Rika Madsen hits the woodwork and almost was a sensational maiden Liberty A-League goal, but denied by the crossbar. Sure she wasn't expecting this one. She had another look back on the replay. Almost looping over her then. Murphy in. Off the head, the chance for Privatelli, blocked, Rika Madsen. And Naomi Chinema, able to sweep, but gives it away, way too cheaply. Rika Madsen, the Danish international, tees it up. And it is cleared in the end, Melbourne City, under the cosh, under the pressure in this second half. They certainly are, and in terms of their ability to block shots and scramble, Melbourne City are doing an excellent job. It's that first pass out of pressure that they need to do better with and, and secure that football and then look to build. Brilliant stop by Julia Grosso, but then Naomi Chinema, just aimless in the box where really you can't afford to be. Jessica Nash, who's been so consistent, now at her third Liberty A-League club. After playing for Canberra and Sydney FC, the ball in from Blissett. Sits up for Garlic. The strike from McKenna. Blazes over the bar, but not far off. And you thought for a moment you'd have a sensational go-ahead goal. This game not shy of action. That's brilliant from Katie Bowen. City, Blissett inside. Garlic, can the youngster, the 16-year-old, stand up for City? Grosso. Off the left. Grosso off the woodwork. 
falls for Polisina and almost, almost for the American wing back. Hits the woodwork and Casey Jamont's frame lives a charmed life. Chidiak delivers. Drifting goal bound almost on goal by Bunge. And the New Zealand international had plenty to do but can't force a save out of Melissa Barbieri. And making an impact, Malone. Contact that keeps going. McKenna does really well. McKenna striking just wide. And all the action in the Melbourne Derby here in the Liberty A-League.